What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's going to be a bit more of a sit down and talking video rather than in the gym. And I'm going to be taking you through the top 10 myths and mistakes you make as a beginner to the gym and the top 10 things that I wish I knew when I started the gym. So let's get straight into this. So one of the biggest myths that I believe when I first started training is that cardio eats or burns away your muscle. I used to be scared to hop on any bit of cardio equipment as I thought I was going to lose my muscle from it and that definitely isn't the case. Cardio is definitely going to burn some calories but as long as they're replaced and you're in a surplus by the end of the day it isn't going to burn any muscles at all and it is going to be good to improve your cardiovascular fitness and make you feel a lot healthier all round. If you don't like cardio and you don't like walking on a treadmill or anything like that, then try and get it in through sports such as football or any other things like that and you're going to enjoy it and you're not actually going to feel like you're doing cardio. However, if you are in a calorie deficit and you're trying to shred down some fat, the best type of cardio I suggest to do is low steady state cardio, so either on an incline treadmill walking or on a step master or something like that as high intensity cardio can be a little bit more risky and you're more likely to burn a little bit more muscle if you are in a calorie deficit. But otherwise than that, if you're long as you're in a calorie surplus, you're not gonna be burning any muscle at all, so make sure you get that cardio in. Another massive mistake that beginners make when they first join the gym is ego lifting. I'm pretty sure everyone's been responsible for doing a bit of ego lifting since they've started training and they're putting way too much weight on the bar or using too heavy of a weight and this is going to put you at a really high risk of getting injured and not building muscle as you're not contracting your muscles properly. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people bench press and just do a really small range of motion. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So make sure you've got your form locked down on every single exercise and that's going to make sure you build as much muscle as possible and stop you from looking like a bit of an idiot in the gym for lifting too much weight when you can't actually lift it. Another mistake a lot of beginners make is training the muscle they want to look best more than other muscle groups. So a lot of people when they start the gym constantly train their arms and their abs because they want that muscle group to look best and that is one of the only reasons they are in the gym for these certain muscle groups to look better than the others. This really isn't a good idea as one, you're not letting your muscles recover in time to be able to train them again and you will be neglecting other muscles. So you will look disproportionate as possibly your arms may look bigger than your chest and your shoulders, which you don't want. You wanna be training each muscle group evenly throughout the week so you have an all round even physique. And trust me, if you train that muscle group five, six times a week, it won't be any different than if you trade it only once or twice a week. So make sure you're training all your muscles evenly and you'll have an all rounded, good looking physique. The next mistake that beginners make in the gym is probably the worst mistake you can make. And this is in the first few years of training, it's training as hard as you can in the gym, but pairing it with a bad diet. You're just going to be preventing as much muscle growth as you can as you won't have the calories and won't be in a caloric surplus in order to support muscle growth and keep you healthy and fit. A lot of people just eat what they want in the first years of training and thinking that just the training alone is going to help them get the physique that they want. Personally, I've done this in the first two years of training and I massively regret it as I've stopped myself from getting a lot more um, progress as I could have if I did start my diet early on. So if you're starting the gym now, make sure you support it with a good diet as it is completely 50-50. One won't work without the other. So make sure you're training hard and eating well, getting enough protein, carbs, and fats in and making sure you're in a surplus so you're able to build muscle effectively. Another mistake that commonly gets made early on in training is not including compound lifts into your training routine. So this is your squat, your bench press, your deadlift, your pull-ups, and even your shoulder press. These are really good as they recruit more than one muscle within the move. Compared to isolation exercises, which only targets one muscle at a time, such as the bicep curl, which a lot of beginners always concentrate on in their training. So make sure you're getting in your compound move at the start of every single session, and then after that, you can move on to your isolation exercises after to shape the muscle but the compound moves are gonna be the base which builds you a really good, strong and big physique. So make sure you're getting them in at the start of your training. Another massive mistake beginners make when they first join the gym is constantly wanting to be shredded. 
they're always in a caloric deficit and they're never going to be able to build muscle if they're constantly wanting to be shredded with the abs showing as you won't be able to put on any muscle. In your first few years of training, this is when you're going to be able to put on as much size and mass as possible. So get in a surplus, forget about being shredded, it's really not worth it. You want to be maximising your muscle growth by being in a caloric surplus and putting on as much muscle as you can and constantly being in a lean bulk for this whole time. Then you'll be able to build a lot of muscle so when you do shred down in later years to come, it will look really good. But if you shred down at the start of training, you'll have no muscles to show and it won't look very good. So make sure at the start of training you're constantly in a surplus, getting in as much food as possible, build as much muscle as you can and forget about being shredded. One of the biggest mistakes beginners make when they first join the gym is forgetting to train their legs. This may be because it's one of the hardest parts of the body to train and you have to go through a lot of pain in order to grow them. Also in the upper body a lot more when they start the gym as they all want big shoulders, chest and arms which ends up neglecting their legs which is not good. As years down the line you'll regret it if you haven't trained your legs for the first one or two years as you'll have a really uneven physique with a big upper body and really small legs which isn't a great look. So if you're a beginner to the gym make sure you're training your legs hard using squats and other big compound exercises in order to grow your legs so you won't regret it down the line and you'll have a really good overall all-rounded physique. Because let's be honest you don't want to be that guy in the gym with chicken legs and a huge upper body. Another big mistake and myth that a lot of beginners make when they first join the gym is thinking that supplements are some kind of steroid or magic substance that's going to completely change your physique. A lot of the companies are very good at marketing and a lot of people end up thinking that they can buy every single supplement and it's going to make a massive difference, when actually they're not. As long as you've got your training and diet down on point, that is what's going to make the difference to your physique. Supplements are going to help that extra 1 or 2% and they can be effective, but don't think they're going to make a massive difference. So if you haven't got a lot of money, don't spend all your money on loads of different supplements as it won't help that much. I will do another video on the basics and the best supplements I think you should be taking, but don't stress yourself out too much as it isn't going to make that much of a difference. Another myth that I certainly believed in near the start of training when I started taking protein shakes is that the myth that you've got to get your protein shake in 20 minutes straight after you finish your session, otherwise all that work is going to go to waste. That is definitely not the case. As long as you've got enough protein in in all your meals throughout the day, your body's going to have enough to help recover your muscles after the training session. You don't have 20 minutes to get it in a straight away. That is all a massive myth. If you can't get a whey protein shake in after your session, it is good as it is a fast absorbing protein, but it isn't going to make that much of a difference. So as long as you can get in a super amount of protein throughout the day, that is the main thing you want to be worrying about. And then your muscles should recover and rebuild perfectly with enough protein throughout the day. So the last mistake that not even beginners make to the gym, but people who have been going to the gym for a long time, is spending too long in the gym for one session. Sessions shouldn't last any more than an hour and a half at an absolute max and they should be around about 45 minutes to an hour long. So you want to be keeping your rest times nice and short and keeping the intensity high in the session as it's going to allow you to burn more calories and get a lot of better pumps and just not waste too much time sitting around and chatting. If the equipment you need is being used, there's always alternatives in the gym. So don't take your time standing and waiting for equipment. Just swap it in for another exercise and then that will keep the session nice and short and snappy without it being way too long. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found some of these points really relatable. And if you are making some of these mistakes, then I hope I cleared these up so you can help progress in your training and build more muscle. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe as I've got a lot of good videos coming up. And I am going to be going on holiday soon, so I'll be sure to bring some vlogs for that and some other videos before then. So I'll see you on the next one.